by doing Space Invaders and Asteroids at the same time? I mean, they're kind of completely different, but they're under the same umbrella at the same time. So how do you approach both those things at the same time while making them stand out? Uh, really, Asteroids is the one we're spending our time on now. Uh, I, you know, the truth is, uh, I love the title. It just seems like that's big. Like, what are Asteroids, that's big. What is, what's going on up there? And, uh, when I look at that project, that's what I think about is I think about the scale of it and I think about the possibility of it. I don't, I'm not, you know, the game, there's nothing to the game per se. I mean, I wasted a lot of my college years playing it, but, um... At one point in my life, I thought there was a lot to that game. Yeah, okay, fair enough. But, and it was fun to do, but there's nothing in terms of storytelling, you know, but, uh, I think that, that idea of, there's a romanticism to the notion of an asteroid, I think, that that's something we're trying to figure out. And how about in terms of Roland Emmerich's other work? How much is it going to veer towards that kind of destruction disaster movie and away from it? What other, which one? Asteroids? Yeah. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a disaster movie. Yeah. It's a, if, if, if we're successful at getting it made, it's much more of a space opera. It is, um, uh, it's like a great sci-fi movie if we get it done right. Yeah, no, it's, it is not at all what people think it is. And people think, oh, you know, the asteroid's going to hit the Earth, and I have no interest in doing that. They've, that's been done exceedingly well before. No, this is, uh, takes place in an asteroid belt, the whole movie.